Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Wednesday. We did have lots of sunshine to start our day off, but lots of thick cloud coverage has moved in now, allowing temperatures, the clear skies overnight, that's what allowed temperatures to dip a lot. Every single place was either at freezing level of 32, that was in Janesville, and every single other place in the state line was able to dip below that level of freezing line. So 31 was the low this morning in Rockford, 29 in Sterling, 30 in Savannah, and then 29 degrees in Freeport. But we talked about the cloud coverage. Here's a live look. Northeast Rockford, this is sponsored by Mercy Health. A couple birds flying out there. You can look towards the trees. We do have some windy conditions also I'm going to talk about, but temperatures, that's the bigger story today. We're pretty close to where we were yesterday, but we do still have places that do have wind chills out there. So the wind chill in Monroe is 38 degrees, even though the temperature is up to 45 there. Some places are reaching closer to the mid-50s, 54 in Sterling and 54 in Savannah. 49 though in Galena, northwest of here, 48 in Rockford, and then 45 in DeKalb. So temperatures are well below average yet again today. It was a nice weekend that did not carry over, unfortunately, during our work week though. Most of this is what's called Virga. It's not actually making its way to ground levels or the surface. So any flurries or snow showers are in the upper levels, and that's actually not reaching to the ground. That's going to be a different story though as we get into the next couple of days with the next system that's going to eventually approach our area. So this this is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 3 outlook. We do have an area of an enhanced risk, this brownish orange color. That's a level 3 out of 5. After that, that's a slight risk, 2 out of 5. And then this lime green color, that's a 1 out of 5. This entire area that's this lighter green color, this is the areas that could see some non-severe thunderstorms. But we're going to put our attention towards areas in Nebraska and then also Kansas. That's the area for the greater chance of seeing some severe weather. But this is eventually going to track up closer to us. So the Storm Prediction Center did highlight days 4, 5, and 6. This is for Saturday, southern Illinois, parts of Missouri, and then into Kentucky and Kansas and even or Kentucky and Tennessee and then even into southeastern portions or southwestern portions of Indiana. This is for Saturday. So we will have to watch that as the potential for some severe weather could be there or at least south of our area. And these thunderstorms are going to see we're going to see them track eventually in here Friday night into parts of Saturday. For now, though, we could see a couple snowflakes mix in with the showers or sprinkles overnight. Really don't think it's going to be that big of a problem, though. Maybe a couple of slick spots, but most temperatures are going to stay above freezing level tonight. Might want umbrella handy though as you're heading out tomorrow because we could see a couple showers creep into place once we're getting into the afternoon and the evening hours tomorrow. But again, that's really not going to be the best chance of seeing some showers. That's going to be as we're heading into late Friday and then Saturday. That's when we'll see more widespread or increased chances for those showers to form. So right now winds are pretty much out of an easterly direction. Right now in Sterling, 18 miles per hour, 17 in Rochelle, 14 in Rockford, 10 in Freeport. So they're not terrible, but they are going to hold on to that gust up to about 20, 25, 30 miles per hour through today and then through the rest of your overnight hours into Thursday morning. 21 are the peak wind gusts in Rockford, so you don't have every single place that is checking in with a peak wind gust. About half of our counties are. 22 miles per hour in Savannah and then 20 in Rochelle. So tonight's low, 34 degrees. Luckily, that's a little bit above freezing level. A few showers, but there is going to be a lot of clouds, so those are going to be on the increase. 51 tomorrow, chance of showers. That's mainly in the afternoon, early afternoon and then late evening. Then we're going to see temperatures increase a little bit. Friday Friday 61, 63 Saturday, so at least we're talking about the 60s back in the forecast. Mimi, that's a little bit closer to average.